So what we have on the bench today is a banggood.com purchase. Uh, these are uh, their set of 40 proto boards. Uh, the smallest one being two centimeters by eight centimeters. And the largest one here at five centimeters by seven centimeters. Uh, it is an extremely high quality board, uh, extremely rigid, unlike some of those cheap uh, uh, paper or even phenolic boards. These are definitely FR4 type fiberglass board, really, really stiff. The solderability is outstanding, super, super simple to use uh, from a soldering standpoint. And also the thing you have to keep in mind is that these are just pads with plated through holes. So you can make a double-sided layout. You just have to remember that if you're making a line, you've got to connect all the dots, right? Or use wires like we do in a traditional proto board. Here's the, um, here's the first project I did. Uh, I can get it in the camera scene there with these proto boards. And this is a, uh, an Atmel chip to drive uh, some one and a half foot uh, LED displays I have for a giant clock for in my uh, garage workshop and uh, worked out really, really well. I, I have no complaints at all. Um, I also used one of the smaller ones to make the button setting panel. So three tack switches on there. We'll put that in a little 3D printed case with some 3D printed buttons to push the tack switches. Dirt simple. My, my, my only real wish was that the holes were bigger, but uh, for the mounting, for mounting purposes. But, uh, you know, I have a drill, so I can fix that up no problem. Uh, the total uh, uh, cost for 40 pieces here, 10 of each size, was about 12 bucks, maybe even a little less than 12 bucks. So if you're looking for something in the, in the proto boards or the variety of sizes, banggood.com.